Okay, so we spelt some, spelt. So we spelt some words in our spelling bee for spelling. Now we've spent some souls, is what I meant to say. And now we're going to have a check to see how much damage we can do to Ornstein. Mr. Ornstein. Hopefully it's a decent amount. If it isn't, this could be tricky, but what I'll do is I'll just go back and level this beast up. It's not my intention to do a challenge run here, it's just my intention to have some fun. And as much as I like a challenge, Ornstein and Smoke can be very, very difficult with a bad setup. So, is he gonna banana us? No banana? Shit. You know what? We're doing okay damage. I can deal with this. Normally hops twice there, which is what I was waiting for. That is his banana. Oh, that can't be good. Tried to roll out of that. I think I did, but I got caught by the attack, and the attack hit me twice. Suffice to say, it was pretty rough. No idea. I pressed B, but it doesn't mean shit, does it, when there's delays and things, so I'll pop a quick heal. I'll wait for that. And then I'll get killed by this run fucking small's running attack because it's bullshit. Shit. Uh, this is a really good pattern. I'm gonna get hit here. Oh, that was lucky. This is a really lucky fight. This is like perfect small Ornstein for in certain respects. Is he gonna jump away? No. He did not jump away. The only thing I hate about small is his running attack. Oh, that could have killed me. And his uh, his bum attack. And both of them are for bad detection reasons. If this game had better detection on its hits, I'd have no problem whatsoever. But it just doesn't. And a lot of people like to defend, oh, this and that and this. It's like, no. If it was better, it would be a better game. That's like empirical. It'd look better, it'd play better, it'd be more enjoyable. But, it's still awesome. Even though I can't see because this fat dude's belly. And that's how you stop the running attack. You put a pillar between you and him. I always put a pillar between me and him because I just don't like that move. And a good loop here is if you can get him constantly dashing away. Because then you can hit him with the running attack. And then you can get like two hits and then he runs away like this. It's not fast. If you're trying to speedrun this guy, this is not the way you want to do it. But... That was his poise. It's just got broken. There's his hop away. There's his running attack. Watch out for him hitting you through geometry because he is a little cheesy. Come on, dude. His AI went batshit then. Can't even tell you why. I expected a butt stomp just then. That's the reason why I wasn't so aggressive. See what I mean? If you can get him consistently running away. That hit his hammer, that, if you're wondering. That happens quite a lot. It's another one of those kind of frustrating things. Everything on his body should class as a uh, hurt box. It's generally how shit works on us. And that was a pretty clean small nasty, so I'm happy with that. Could have gone so much worse, but 
Dark with Grain Ring is incredibly powerful, and a two hit stun break or, or poise crush on Ornstein, Steeny, Steiny, whatever you want to say. Pretty fortunate. I can't complain. So if I had a bow right now, I would shoot this woman through the door. Because it skips the cutscene. And it skips the dialogue. But I don't, so I can't. But I was going to do a dragon run, because I've never done one of the PvE. And I was also contemplating doing a whip run. But Marakumo kind of won. Because I like Marakumo. And the dragon is surprisingly powerful. You don't realise just how damaging the dragon is. Uh, until you, you do like a backstab with him. Yes, I have my massive gazongas. Yes, they're so pretty. They're orbiting my immense structure of a size. So now we can do some whopping. And now we have to kill... What's his face? Cubone. We need to kill Cubone. So let's go back to... There. I wonder what's going to replace bonfires in... In Bloodborne. Because there, there's probably going to be something. If there is no bonfire, b -b -b bonfires, because I'm a b -b 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 um, I wonder what's going to be there instead. Because of course there was arch stones in, in demons, so maybe it'll be something completely different. So evenly spread the old stats. can actually wear stuff even though I hate it the way it looks. But when we go down towards this geezer, we'll get something quite awesome anyway. Well, that's really good news, at least. So we can do some sprintage. And... So I'm going to try and do the skip, even though it's completely unnecessary. I just like it. And it's one of those things where the more you do it, the easier it should be. But that's just not how it works. I, I miss it all the fucking time. It's amazing. Yeah, that's not good. <clears throat> but, we'll live. Oh, we'll live. So I'm going to have to hit the bonfire coming up, because if I don't, I'm going to have a ton of dudes interested in my anus. And as attractive as my anus is, I cannot have such attention on it. So that should mitigate that. And then from here, we can go and do the skip. So you don't have to mess with the spear guys, which is awesome, because they're just going to get And they're not going to be gifted enough to really do much following. However, these guys are a little bit more annoying. But the running attack should clean them up pretty effectively, as long as I get the first hit. If I get the first hit, yeah, we're okay. And he didn't follow me. He broke the bookshelf and then went back to his day. So this is a pretty precise skip, but in the grand scheme of skips, it's not that precise, and I missed it. Uh, I actually think it's a little bit more difficult sometimes with the Darkwood Grain Ring. I wish it was one you could run off and do, but I don't think you can do that kind of... No. You can probably maybe do that, but it's, it's not quite enough. The optimum route is to go to the right corner of the ladder and then roll, like, at 11 o'clock. And as long as you don't hit any of the invisible walls, you'll, you'll get it quite quickly. And I just seem to have a little bit more success with that. See what I mean? Isn't it weird? Ah, uh, you, you just, for some reason, you can do it in one way and you, you couldn't do it in another. And then you do that, and then you roll when you land. You use your healing item really quickly, because you're about to get assailed by dogs. 
And uh, yeah, that is the skip. That is the bullshit of Dark Souls and no boys. And this guy's gonna fucking bleed me if I'm not careful. Either. So a better thing will probably be Wolf just for these idiots. Oh, here he comes. I think the dogs are one of the trickiest enemies on this game. I think what they did to them in Dark Souls 2 uh, is actually pretty useful because it means that they're not utter assholes anymore. You can reliably get around them. But there's also undead thieves in this area and they're pretty dangerous. So I'll trigger the dudes. Get a nice... Oh, that was really bullshit, Dad. Did you see that? He did a standard attack, he then teleported onto my fucking back, and boom, I'm bashed out. That dog dodged that. What a baller. But just stuff like that, how is that even a thing? Wow, just, wow, it just, it blows your mind, and it's funny because it happens all the time. There's always some new crazy thing waiting to happen, and you're just like, what? Seriously? So we'll swap our pants. And we're still too bloody fat because this is apparently kind of heavy. Mm. Shirtless it is. I'm really hoping this goes okay. Because this is... If something's going to go wrong, it's going to go wrong here. Because if you've never fought this guy, even if you've put a hundred hours in this game, he can give you issues. So we're okay now because we got rid of the, the problem and we've got this guy doing his... That was terrible. I tried to pivot in midair. If I said it didn't work, you would understand why. I thought we'd get a voice crush on him. But we didn't. There it was. But that was Capra. You know, he looks pretty simple when you watch it, but... Trust me guys, when you first get to him, you're going to hate everything about him. He's just a monster. And there's a ton of stuff you can do to make that fight easier, but what I just showed you then is, is pretty much the best thing to do. Get up on that balcony. Make sure you've got a little bit of poise. You don't need a lot. Touché, sir. Touché. And you turned away from me, which is very strange, but I'll let it off. I misguided, I misguided, I misjudged, sorry, the range on that all the time. There are millions and millions. No, I don't want to do the skip here. So you can jump from this, hit that balcony and land near the butcher, but you're going to put yourself in a bit of trouble because I'm trying to get the chest and I want as little dogs alive as I go for the chest as I physically can get. So that was too late on the R2 to get a perfect R2. Well, perfect defensive R2 anyway. I don't know what these guys are doing, but I'll take it. And there are millions and millions of reasons. Hello. But it's funny how it's always the smallest creatures that are the fiercest. And I've took my ring off, which I need to be aware of. fell in the water, which is annoying. The thing that's worse, though, is when they jog dodge, they have a tendency to bounce away from you. It's very dangerous. If you've got a bow or any kind of magic... Oi, dickhead.
So you want to watch this guy because he has a one-hit kill move. It's very rare, but it happens. I don't know if you have to have a certain threshold of life to not be vulnerable to it, but all I know is that this dude got me once with a move I'd never seen, and I died with full life. And as much as this game seems like it's one-shotting you a lot, it's actually quite difficult to be one-shot on this game. And, you know, we might as well kill some shit while we're here. Like, I can do deaths really quickly because it's really, really short. But you have to know where you're going. If you don't know where you're going, I suppose it can be kind of long. And also, uh, you have to know how to take on the dragon guy uh, with the channeler. Because if you don't, you're going to maybe panic and maybe make mistakes. And it's, it's not that it's hard at all, because it isn't. It's just annoying. Because he hurts. A lot. And you can shoot him from here with a bow, but I don't have a bow, so uh, that's not going to happen. And you might think, well, I just summon phantoms and it makes it easier. <laughs> and how wrong you would be. Summoning phantoms against gaping is not a good idea. They will throw off the pattern. They will make this fight much more difficult than it ever would be. Could have hit him twice then, but I'm kind of rusty. Channel is going to buff him. Wow, I could have hit him for an eternity just then. Frame rate is fucking awful. And that spell hurts. But not enough to to be too bad. Just jump in. You wanna taunt him by being close into slamming his face down like this. And then hitting his face. But get the hell out of there and do not let his his hands touch her when he moves, because if they do, uh, they'll they'll hurt a lot. Same with this. If he touches you with any part of his body, it's weaponized. And it's it's not very fair, I don't think. But what the hell can you do? It's the way the game works. He's doing it again. That was really disappointing. I misjudged my distance right there. But as you can see. Oh, it hurts. It hurts so much. Another fun thing that fanboys like to do with Demon Souls, like, Oh, Demon Souls never had bad frame rate. <laughs> of course it didn't. <laughs> Demon Souls' frame rate's worse than this. Fucking hilariously bad. I could have killed him then, but... I backed off because of the channel of being a dick. And that was gaming. Because we didn't use any bonfires, let's wait for us to get a souls just in case we get robbed. God, those souls were slow. And then we can do this, and it should take us back to Firelink or back to Analondo, actually. But that is one of those fights, if you have a Black Knight weapon there, if you've killed the Channeler, or even if you haven't, if you're, you're pretty quick on what you're doing, you can go in there with Tearstone range and make that dude regret he was ever alive. It's kind of funny. So I'm not going to do any PvP on this account because it doesn't have Xbox Live. So I'm not going to bother with Karth, so I'm going to go with Fram, even though I prefer Karth just for the amenities of it. It's the only way to get the Dark Wraith armor if you want to get that. But the Dark Wraith armor on this game doesn't fit the character very well. It's, it's fucking ugly, actually. What did I just do? The wrong thing is what I just did. I thought I warped to... Firelink. Apparently not. But there are millions and millions of reasons. The Flame Stone Plate Ring. So these episodes are going to be anywhere between 20 minutes and 30. It's kind of my playthrough session like requirements. I think it's it's not too long, but it's long enough to, to get your wet your whistle wet. Which I always just feel that that saying has sexual connotations to it. 
So I was going to give the Lord Vessel, but I've just realised I can give the Ember, can't I? And I could have warped, but this is a playthrough about... Oh, fellas. Yeah, about that, you know. It was a tough time in Lordran, and uh, he had to die. He moved funny. He's going to kill that chicky away. I wanted nothing but peace. It was my son who was evil. I wanted nothing but peace. Yeah, well, I guess we can't have that, can we? Mr. King Cold. I guess it kind of works. I have a sword and I have silver hair, even though Trunks is... Sometimes it looks purple. Whoa, that's Wog! Oh no, it's not. That's Force again. About a twofer. Oh no. Bounced off the wall, did it? Is he going to get Wog out again? Can that roll? Come here, his buddy. Whenever they're walking like that with intent, it tells you they're going to come and attack you, so you can usually get a parry off. You need to watch these guys because they can't be all Oh, that was terrible. And there's his heal. Is that death? No, it's not. Cut that for rebound. Interesting. Whoa, is that... That's that recovery spell. Interesting. That was really silly. I pressed Y then instead of... B. I don't I couldn't even tell you why. Oh fuck off. It's because I'm on a weird step. God these guys are douches. This is all because my weapon's shit. In fact we're stronger, are we? Even if I just picked up the horny ring. This would be a completely different fight. That was a parry, interesting. Wow, his weapon's faster than mine. Come on, dude, what the fuck is that? <clears throat> That's why I'm a fan of rapiers. I'm a fan of anything with a good crit. Because you can just get rid of dudes like that really quickly. But instead I get bummed. <laughs> bummed by holy men. And at my age... That's nice and worthwhile. Just created a word. Worthful. <laughs> She's gonna start punching me now. He's gonna fucking kill her. And his weapon's gonna beat mine because mine's fucking slow. Amazing. Wow, the audio was mad delayed then. Are you a heretic? No, but I'm gonna fucking kill you, bitch, just because you tried to punch me. Oh. Is there any point to fucking healing? Oh God. Yes, we got him. Mike. It's gonna make this considerably easier. Can have resplendent on you all you want, or whatever that damn move's called. That was posh. Look at her blocking with thin air. That's really fair. Oh. Yeah, that was terrible. Oh, wow. Good lass. Oh. Fucking oh. bitch. Do your normal attack, you daft bastard. Thank you. I've noticed how the armor fits these guys pretty well, but when you wear it, it looks like shit. It's because they've got the perfect frame for how it was designed. She did the big punch as well. Missed it again. I'm so bad. Mm. Oh, you can't catch a spell! Oh no! You 
can't go too slow. Tart. She just blocks me with thin air. This is what you want, cow. I want me to introduce you to the concept of living in Texas. I said, where's my dinner, bitch? He didn't mean to hit me. He done run over my head with the truck. Oh god, you want this bitch? This is just a this is a regular Sunday. I don't want you going out with damn people anymore. I sound like the sheriff of Nottingham then from the fucking Disney Robin Hood. <laughs> she gets good humanity. Now I taught that bitch a lesson. It's time to hit that bonfire. Yeah. Right, anyway. Domestic disturbances aside, we can get back on with what we were doing. My lack of poise disturbs me. I do miss that though, the, the animations on Dark Souls 2 are some of the dullest and least interesting they've ever made for parrying and backstabbing. Like I think the only one I really like is the impalement with the spear, I think that one's really good. All the rest just look, they look janky, they look like they're not, they wouldn't even hurt. Like the greatsword one where he kind of just pushes you with the sword, like, probably wouldn't even hurt. I suppose I should give a disclaimer, there was no actual Texans hurt in the making of this video. And people from Texas do not sound like what I just made that noise of. <laughs> That was just me doing a, uh, an albeit poor impression. Uh, it's a mighty fine ember you got there. Magnificent. Wow. You won't be disappointed. You I won't be disappointed. Get started. Now unzip and get on your knees. That's right, son. Right, uh, weapon. Arian Foster. No, we need to modify. Maracumbo! And then we can start levelling this booger up. Reinforce my plan. Credits will be fine. So now the Akumo is going up a little bit. Don't get used. We can go back to Analondo and get it up even more. We can give it some Cialis. We can get it nice and refined, grease it up, dip it in vinegar, keep it nice and hard. That's the one I want, yeah. God, I always... It's been a while, man. The shit you forget. Uncanny. <laughs>